Sorry if I look like a scruffy looking nerf herder, but it's been a hell of a week to say the least. Which is kind of the reason the whole I haven't even made this video to begin with. I don't want to go over quite a few different things. And as I promised, if you kind of listen to some point or another within this, it's going to be the details on how anybody who wants to become a potential keeper can get a key to Dragon Age Keep Beta. But, as I said, there's been a lot going on besides from work and all that other good stuff. But this is my gaming channel, not my personal channel, so I guess I should talk about that kind of stuff. As a lot of you probably have noticed, if you're subscribers, yeah, I'm almost done with the Dragon Age Awakening as far as posting it up. I've actually finished the game a little while ago. It's a bit of a process to get all that chopped up, but you know, i got other stuff going on. No excuses, I know. Uh, as far as Dragon Age 2 is concerned, that's going to be coming up, uploaded almost immediately afterwards. I'm actually, play-wise, already to the point where I'm about to do the Deep Road Expedition. I already did all the side quests and all that other good stuff leading up to that point. And, of course, when Dragon Age Inquisition comes out, I'm going to continue the whole playthrough setup through there. Can you see me on the camera? <laughs> Can you? Yes. Good damn it. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. No! I, I don't no. care. I'm leaving, I'm leaving that in. That's too great. Anyways, so Dragon Age Inquisition, of course, is the playthrough I'm going to go with. Originally, I was going to do WWE 2K15. Not so much actually playing through, do a gameplay of that. What I was going to do is another Machinima. For anybody who's not familiar, I did a really goofy, just awful parody of a Machinima that uh, you can find if you kind of dig through the playlists. And I kind of want to do something a little bit more serious. I want to do like an, an, a Brothers Grimm... Rise from NXT to WWE, so anybody who's a wrestling fan, it's something you can look forward to, as well as the Sons of Sandow storyline, which will be kind of funny, but somewhat serious as well. But since that got pushed back to the same day as Dragon Age Inquisition, that game's going to get buried the same way that just about anybody who goes up against John Cena practically gets buried in the WWE. Wrestling joke, if you can get that. And... There's God knows how many different games coming out on that day. As far as Grand Theft Auto V, you have Dragon Age Inquisition, you have WWE 2K15 on the next-gen consoles, and Far Cry 4. I am going to be doing other playthroughs and stuff going on. Unfortunately, money is really tight for me right now. Um, that's why, as much as I didn't really want to, I'm actually considering taking the Patreon I made serious. Originally, it was a joke. You can tell just by looking at it. But if anybody wants to, it's not something I'm going to be begging for. It's not something I'm going to tell people, like, you need to do this, otherwise I'm going to stop making videos. N nothing's going to stop me from making videos. But when it comes to certain games, like, I really wanted to play The Evil Within, and eventually I will get it, but I don't have the money right now to get it upon a release date and play it. Even then, I probably wouldn't do a playthrough because of the other plans. If anything, I would stream it live, uh, because that way I don't have to edit or do anything with it. You can kind of just see it as it's happening all the horrible fails and all. Uh, there's a lot of playthroughs that I wanted to do, uh, that I may be doing in the future, but I just can't do right now because I simply don't have the funds. Uh, so I may also think about doing a donate button on Twitch, who knows. Uh, but yeah, so as far as playthroughs are concerned, it's still going to be doing the entire road to Inquisition, including Inquisition. Afterwards, I might do some different stuff. I'm really thinking about continuing on Partially to piss off my friends who think I'm a Bioware fanboy, but also because I really enjoyed the next series I was thinking about, which is Knights of the Old Republic. That's what got me into Bioware games in the first place. So I was thinking about playing Knights of the Old Republic, uh, the original, and then 2, which was actually done by Obsidian Games. So if you guys like that idea, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Say, yeah, we definitely would like to see that playthrough after you're done with Dragon Age, and I'll continue from there. Otherwise, I'll see what else I can kind of just mix in there for everybody to see. I definitely have a whole bunch of games, especially Steam library of stuff that I haven't really gone through. Just about anybody who watches this who has Steam, I'm pretty sure you know how I feel. I was also on Gamer Talk Live. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and shoot over to the side. You're going to be a little image or probably even a little bit of video. Unfortunately, Gamer Talk Live is kind of done for. It kind of got killed off almost as quickly as it began due to personal issues with Nate. Not me having personal issues with him, just, you know, we both have lives. He has his life and he's got stuff that he's got to take care of. It's more important doing internet videos. It's just like I have a life and most of the time what I do outside of these videos is really what's priority. I mean, I love making videos. I love the feedback I get from people. I love entertaining people. But of course, family and work is going to take priority. So Game Talk Live is done for until further notice. 
But what I did do is I was actually on a podcast with some really awesome individuals known as the Dialogue Cat, uh, the Dialogue Wheel. I almost called the Dialogue Cast. Sorry. So I'm gonna kind of move over to the side again. Point. I was actually on their uh, podcast, and we discussed some of the hardest decisions that you come across in the Dragon Age series. And I had a fun little debate with one of them. So definitely check it out. It's uh, subscribe if you can to the dial. Uh, what's called the Dialogue Cast again? The Dialogue Wheel Podcast, or just go to Dialogue Wheel Channel. I'll more likely put a link on top of that as well. And I guess at this point I can go ahead and tell you guys what the contest is. So what I'm going to do for this contest, I'm going to slide over again to the side. There's going to be an image right here. What I want you to do, go ahead and tweet at me, at Antics of Anthony, which I'll probably put somewhere on here too as well in case you need it, and tell me what this creature is. And that'll enter you into the contest. I'll go ahead and pick somebody out of that and you'll get your Dragon Age Keep beta code. So for those that are still remaining who actually wanted to see this video versus just getting the Keep code, uh, I'm actually in, in the process of doing a huge creative project which for anybody who may have seen it with the Dragon Age Inquisition Enemy of Theodis trailer, I did kind of a joke for the whole Not Real News. Well, I thought it was stupid not so much funny, but apparently a lot of people thought it was very humorous. So I decided to come up with, after asking around, seeing if there's interest for it, I'm going to start, actually I did start a YouTube channel and even a Twitter for it, known as Not Real News. And exactly as it sounds, I'm going to be portraying a character, it's not going to be me, it's just going to be, his name's Justin Newsanchor, and we are going to come up with, the people I'm going to be doing it with as well, just different little stories, or just a single headline, kind of a skit, each week or every two weeks depending on how busy it becomes but it's gonna have crowd participation as well because people who watch the channel I'm gonna go ahead and say hey go ahead and suggest a headline as long as it's not you know offensive or anything like that we'll consider it and it might just be our new headline to which I'll take that headline make a story out of it that'll be the next skit for the next week so it'll be the crowd participation everybody can kinda of get involved in that regards but the kind of feel I'm going for is a combination of Anchorman mixed with Onion mixed with Daily Show and kind of just blended over, uh, blended all together into this amalgamation abomination of a show known as Not Real News. But uh, I have a lot of great ideas. A lot of people want to get involved. They're kind of going to be like the other not uh, newscasters, but correspondents for different stories. And it's really going to be a lot of fun for everybody involved. I hope it's a lot of fun for anybody who watches it, especially if your story is one of the ones that is picked over time. So. I'm just going to keep sliding over and over again, keep pointing, there's a logo for Not Real News that'll take you to the YouTube channel, and I'll probably put a link down below as well for the actual Twitter, which is kind of where I tweet in character of Just News Anchor. But I'm going to be getting actually better lighting instead of just using a lamp, so it'll actually improve the quality of my gaming channel as well. I'm going to be getting a green screen, so for the Not Real News it's going to look like I'm actually in a news office. But at the same time, that'll also work for my gameplay channel as well, because now I can cut out the background stuff when I shoot videos, and now it's just me not taking up so much of the gameplay screen. So there's going to be some changes not only here, there's also going to be a whole new channel I'm going to be working on. It's more of a creative project, humorous, having fun with that. Check it out. Uh, I'll probably be, if they'll let me, I mean, they said that they thought I was funny, but a lot of people tell me things just to make me feel good. <laughs> But you probably see me on Dialogue Wheel, uh, not as a permanent member, but just on and off whenever I guess I can until Gamer Talk Live comes on. If anything, I'm going to want to have Dialogue Wheel as well as just anybody else who's interested on Gamer Talk Live and kind of promote and get that community together because we all need to come together and all that sappy stuff. Uh, yeah, I really can't think of anything else left to say. At this point, I've been kind of rambling on a little bit. There may be some jump cuts per usual. I'm getting a little bit better at it. Just a little bit. There's still some I need to, stuff I need to work on. Uh, like the stuttering and not being able to think and just tripping up my own words. But, yeah. So, if you are a subscriber, thank you for being one and watching my content. Hope you enjoy it. Appreciate the support. If you are simply just somebody who watched this video on a whim, just randomly caught this, I uh, think you should subscribe. There's plenty of awesome stuff to check out. And if you're here just for the Dragon Age Keep Code, 
I'm not angry at you because if I were in your shoes, I'd probably just watch some random dude's video just to get a keep code as well. And congratulations to whoever might win after watching this. Thank you very much for watching and until next time. Tigan, 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 Tigan.